Hello everyone and welcome back to Exploring Operating Systems. I am Ricky and we are looking at today Enzo Linux. Yeah, or Enzo OS, it's sort of just called Enzo. Literally it's a niche a very niche uh, Linux distro. And I've already been playing a bit with it for the past half an hour, just playing a bit with the kind of thing. And this is what we get when you first load in, of course. When you first load in. Um, just like the past two or three episodes I've looked at, um, the desktop's been in the corner, the top, top corner kind of thing, because um, the resolution is small, I think it's 800 by 600 uh, when you first log on to it, and it's quite awkward uh, when it comes to the UI of this because a lot of the men use a lot of the working windows and everything else are quite huge. Sidebar appears, and that's I'm just um, or a uh, organizing all the stuff into little uh, menus and so forth. This is based, I think, off of the XFCE um, desktop environment for Linux, and this is what it's based off. It actually says right here XFCE. If I didn't even notice that before, but it says about XFCE um, version 4.12 by Zubuntu. Of course, this is, this is anything like Zubuntu, and of course. 
I was a bit curious to begin with why the dot was in the middle and then I've just realised because this whole thing goes from left to right so I'm pretty sure if I was to get more icons on this which is just done by dragging and dropping I'll drag it over here um, because you can see a little line here I, I think um, between those little zones all, all it's done is just by dragging and dropping so we'll try and drag and drop and see how far we can get into making this hello? eh? eh? <laughs> It, it, it's uh, what? I'm pretty sure if it's longer than that. Hmm. There's not that many programs in this, as you can probably see. A lot of it's system settings and music. Ah, I did offer it. We'll see how far we can get it. I'm just trying to see if I can add to dock. Just see how far I can get it along here. Terminal emulator, I've already got that. Web browser, which is kind of got a kind of a Safari look to it. Um, don't know what, what this is supposed to be. We'll try it out. It might be Ice Weasel again. Oh no, it's Firefox. Fair enough. Thunderbird. <laughs> Remember that little program, Min Mines. That may be Minesweeper, not Minecraft, I suppose. Um, Minesweeper, a uh, eight by eight, and we'll just. Oh, okay. I've already got that. Uh... Hello. Oh shit. Uh, ah, I'm dead. There we go. Orange, orange preferences. Orange calculator. A calendar even, sorry. Um I did a fade up flood. What are you doing? Now I thought that icon was that, that that clock icon was actually interactive, like animated kind of thing, like what you see on Android and so forth. It's not it's static. Um notifications. I'll bring it over to the front right here. <laughs> but um just to see how far along I can get this little dock thing to go. So Doku. So it's got some games out of the box. It's got the software center you can see right here, um, similar to the the software store you get in Ubuntu and so forth. Of course, this is based on Ubuntu, I, I think, um, which is why it's got XFCE as its desktop environment on it right here. The desktop, and um, that's probably show desktop. And of course, you can see I've actually got it to the length of the desktop screen. A simple scan. What the hell is that? Uh. Mm. We'll see what unique software we can get from the software center. Launchy. What the hell was that? Launchy. Oh, that might that might be the dock. Checking for updates. Software updater. Ah, stuff that. Of course, there's not too too much interest out the box. Um. You can see the lovely wallpaper in the background, for instance. That's quite nice. Um, of course, it's got got the look and feel of Ubuntu. You can kind of see it right here, right now. Um, it's got the little dock thing going on. Hello, what's this? <laughs> and of course, it is laggy. I uh, it's a little bit laggy. I've not actually installed it onto the the virtual machine's hard drive. It's literally running off of the virtual CD. Of course, it would be a little bit faster if it for it being on virtual CD instead of being on, you know, on disk. Uh, I don't have a disk pair right now, it's broken. But, uh, security updates, ah, forget that. Scrap that then now. Um, par Pyro Media Player, I'm just going to see. You still make it quite long, but of course the icon starts to shrink, it's quite, quite interesting to look at. But there we go. A full on dock at the bottom right here. And of course, you can add some icons to favourites. I'm not really into to reading the mail. Uh, what is that? Pin to dock. Fair enough. It's kind of like Windows in that way. Pin to start kind of thing. Fair enough. Uh, but I'm going to remove that from starred. Starred. It should be favourites, not starred. What the? What? Are you seeing this? Big A big select icon kind of thing. I think this might be used for tablets as well. It's it's got the resolution quite enough. It's got a lot of um, large icons used for it. I do find a fud. The uh, menu editor. Uh, I don't know what 
this is supposed to be. There's no menu. There's no proper menu right here. It's a, more of a scroll kind of thing. Um, oh. Um, you can notice right here that <laughs> the icons have sorted themselves out. So I'll remove from starred and I've, and I'll remove that from starred as well. So of course, click away. Of course, you can't see me cl uh, click out of the the menu itself. You have to click away from it like that. So you've got games, you've got mind, you've got Sudoku, Sudo Sudoku, sorry, and graphics, res, 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 restretto, restretto image viewer. See these names you get on Linux programs, it's, they're so, that's probably the reason why not too many people like it, because it's not too familiar. Because a, a lot of these names are quite obscure, quite weird, you know, Clementine, you wouldn't really associate that with a music player, or a media player kind of thing, and you, and, you know, the first time I came across Linux, I was a bit confused behind Clementine. And then I watched a lot of videos on YouTube talking about Linux and so forth, and they discovered that Clementine itself was a media player. So, why is there two web browsers if they all link to Firefox? That is very weird. Unless that's a desert, unless that's just the link to the designated um, main web browser kind of thing. So I presume if I was to uninstall Firefox, install a Chromium, um, and set that as a, the default quote unquote web browser, that would probably who who was launched to kind of thing, if you know what I mean. A uh, working, of uh, it shows right here in this menu Libra, um, whatever this is, um, it shows right here. I think that's actually what it's supposed to do. I think it's just literally just a link icon kind of thing. So it's set, so it will launch the web browser that is set as a default one. So fair enough. Um, hmm, fair enough. Check a look at some of the show desktop workspace view. Ah, that's for the, the different wallpaper, the different wallpapers, the different, uh, different uh, desktops. Which I'm not real keen on, um, the whole multiple desktop kind of thing, I just prefer something physical with like multiple uh, screens kind of thing. That's actually what this is supposed to like act like. I'm not into the, the whole multiple desktop system that you get on Linux and now on Windows 10. Uh, I just prefer using multiple screens on my desk. Um, physical screens of course, monitors. Um, but of course that is an option for you right there. I'm not real keen on that as I've already mentioned. Notifications. Where are the, no where are the notifications at? Fair enough. Of course because this isn't installed, it's running off of the virtual CD, you've got the option to install it onto the hard drive itself. Um, application Finder. And then you've got another Application Finder somewhere, if I clear out of that. Application Finder, and then you've got Dconf Editor, and gig Gigolo. Gigolo? Gigolo. Gigolo. Uh, there was another there was another search a uh, option that I found when I was playing about with this that I've lost now. XF burn. Is that a, is that a disk burner somehow? I've only just realized there's a spinning beach ball in the center. Can you, can you see that little spinning beach ball, that loading spinning beach ball? Um a lot of people call it the spinning beach ball of death. I'm not I'm not too sure why. It's not just it's similar to the the loading timer, the, the the little egg timer kind of thing you used to get on the um, old Windows systems. I think you still get that the little. Oh yeah, it's popped up right now. You know that little um, loading timer kind of thing you get next to the the mouse. That's what that beach ball is supposed to be. It's not a case of the computer's crash or anything. Um, if it did crash, you'd have that little notification that um, power of chinga whatever that sound is you get um, on Mac when the system has failed. There we go. Catfish fail search. And you've got, <laughs> I don't know why it's called catfish. It's not really a nice name if you want to f try and find something. I'm pretty sure um, that would be quite weird. The, the search database is more than seven days old. Update now? No thanks. So search for files. Um, there's no files on here. Uh, I'm not sure there's even a thing to use for. I'm, I'm quite happy. I'm quite uh, happy I've got this thing right here because it's quite easy to find what I need because you've got all of these 
you've got all of the system programs mixed in with all of the um, system settings and everything else, so that would be quite awkward for, say for instance, someone who's not too familiar with com computers, like a elderly for instance, not too helpful at the box, so you've got this little um, sort sort base menu system here, so you've got system and tools which takes up two slots and not too many programs, so yeah, there's not too much accessories maybe? Character map fills no, nope, there's not too much. There's a sticky note system, I think. A system. We we'll keep using that name, that using that term. It's sticky notes program is what I meant to try and say. Um, of course. Hello. Of course, what is this for? New. No. Notes, notes. <laughs> Um, so groups new no. another not so of course you can scroll between them as well which is kind of kind of reminiscent I think um, to how the, the notes acted in Windows Vista um, of course in Windows 7 and later on the notes were all separated and spread about kind of thing and this is you, ju you just scroll right through them um, can you change the colours? Groups, notes, properties, background yellow, and you can customise it. Indigo green. Oh, you can't. You can't change colours individually. You can only choose them for the whole note system. Ugh. I'm not keen on that. I prefer to have them assorted kind of thing. Um, notes that hides them. It keeps them up. Hmm, fair enough. Um, mail reader. For anyone who's interested, you've got Sudoku here. And then, you, you, hang on, you've got Thunder, Thunderbird Mail, and then you've got Easy. Oh, that's Sudoku. I am so confused. Why have you, you got this, and then you've got that. <laughs> you got Thunderbird Mail and um, this mail reader thing, and I'm not really keen on spinning beach balls. I'm not really keen on uh, Sudoku right here, and I'm pretty sure it's crashed. That's probably the reason why they call it the spinning beach ball of death. Of course, why they don't call the egg timer or the loading timer kind of thing you get on Windows the egg timer of death? What the heck? Why? <laughs> it's just obscured the program. Jeez. Okay. Ah, it's crashed. <laughs> that is an ultimate no no for me for <laughs> right there. Of course, uh, but Paul would does work better, of course, when you have this running on actual hardware. But he ho. Oh, um. Yep, it's halted on me. It's halted on me. Of course, we're back. It took it so long to actually. Oh, shut, sh sugar. <laughs> it took it so long to actually load up this little menu right here, which is why I thought it would crash. I script on this page may be busy. Close it. Close Thunderbird. Eh, uh, nah, forget that. <laughs> of course. Mm, a lot of a lot of these main a uh, menus and things with pop ups and everything else are quite infuriating. Should probably, uh, probably put this episode in mildly infuriating because of that just one little uh, blip. Um, so you've got graphics, you've got result resretto. I keep calling it resort of stone for and uh, for whatever reason. So of course I'm not getting any photos to play. Um, put a uh, parallel media player, which is quite a simple media player. It's quite quite nice, of course. You can use VLC if people still use that, for instance, eh, on Linux. So that's a that's a bonus. Of course, I've got no videos to show, but it, I, I presume it works. Um, we've got music. I miss when operating systems had um, out of the box samples and everything else, like song samples, like for instance, in Windows XP. Remember those? Um, the Beethoven, I remember t 
tons of YouTube videos back in the day with, you know, using Beethoven's music and so forth that came a little out of XP itself because people are too lazy to find it online. Um, the contents of your music folder will appear here. So this is literally just an empty shell. And I presume it runs kind of similar to Microsoft Groove. So you got the whole listing of music here in some kind of like icon style. And of course when you go to play the music it will play in this kind of like bar at the bottom. I, I'm not too sure. That's what I presume. Um, hmm. I'm not getting anything to test it on right now but just if you would like to test it right now I'll, li I'll leave a link to the download in the description so if you want to try this OS out yourself or whether on real hardware or a virtual machine you can of course you can run it through a flash drive or, or a, a CD or DVD so you don't have to run it install it kind of thing so of course that is an option Um, of course I'm pretty sure it's not going to lag like that it's just lagging because the virtual machine, you know. Um, of course, I've not tried setting anything up yet. Now you'll notice it's quite easy to drag and uh, drag away these icons. You can't actually drag them to the desktop, for instance, because they just disappear like that. And um, so there's no system for putting desktop icons on here. So it's kind of a bit rubbish. That's why. That's why I put the comparison. Uh, with Chromium OS because you can't actually put anything on the desktop, you can only put it on the dock. Presumably because a lot of this stuff is, you know, running anyways, a lot of the programs running full screen anyway, like for instance the web browser, so it may be make life a little bit awkward to try and minimise everything out to try and find s stuff. So that's why I think it's, this probably would be quite nice for elderly people. Um, all they need to do is just throw up this little rocket menu thing, if this thing decides to work, which I'm pretty sure it's crashed itself again, um, yeah, it's crashed. Okay, so we are back, um, hello, we are back, um, of course, the system had crashed, uh, thanks to the software center, trying to check for updates and it completely halted the system, um, so I'm actually on the way to try and reboot the software, so I'm not going to try it, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm, I'm not going to install I'm, I'm going to try it. Of course, the installation process is kind of similar to Ubuntu as well. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like out of the box, because it is quite, it is quite annoying because the, the interface shows in a small resolution, which kind of makes it awkward. So this is what it looks like the first time I launched it. So if we go into the, you can kind of see what the problem is. Which is probably the reason why they've got the system settings on the dock. Um, that just makes, it, makes life very helpful. So display. Can't remember what I set it to. Um, was it thir was it thirteen by something? Apply. Oh, so that's what I set it to, and of course it is working nicely. Of course everything's in the corner, but it doesn't. It, the reason I thought initially that the menu was glitched out, for instance, the dock was glitched out, was because it reminds me of when we tried out. Uh, Hannah Montana Linux, of course, that was in the corner right here. It was like it cut off right here, which was, was quite awkward. So that is how it launched out of the box. We'll take a look at this get started thing. So edit user details, change system settings, install, learn Enzo. Is it going to open me up in a web browser thing? Yes, it is. I can kind of see Firefox popped up there. Ah, you can read this yourself. <laughs> yeah, I can't be bored with this. Just close tabs. Thank you. Of course, I'm not willing to run Firefox within a virtual machine because, of course, this has already happened. It's crashed and everything else. Now, of course, because you can't seem to run uh, the icons on the desktop, I am scared. I was initially scared to drag the the applications icon to the desktop just in case it disappears. But I'm going to try this now because I am very curious as to what will happen. The menu disappeared. <laughs> Holy damn it. I am in the sugar. <laughs> yep, that is the reason why you don't do that. That should be permanently built into the dock so you can't actually do that because as far as I'm aware you can't... At this point there's no way to actually bring it back. Desktop settings, system settings, it fails. 
if you had a spare like ma a applications menu at the top, that might be make life a little bit helpful. Because of course, if if I don't know that you can drag away the the start menu, the icon for the start menu away and make it disappear, what do you think a child's going to be like if they try this? You can't even right click and lock the dock. So that is system settings. That is just a little bit awkward. Appearance, personal, uh, hardware, removal devices. Yeah. Um, so advice to the developer of this. If possible, can you try and make the icon that is used for loading the menu to get more applications? Would it be okay to make that a more permanent fixture on the desktop? Or have a, an applications menu up here just in case? Um, just a thought. What's this? Thunar, Thunar File Manager. We might be able, able to find the programs from here to bring it back. File System. If only this was like the Mac OS uh, file, file Explorer kind of thing. I can't remember right now what it looked like, but there's a way to actually get to the programs, which is kind of awkward. So that, yep, yeah, that's a that's a bit of a yeah. Um, desktop settings, and it flickers. Desktop settings. Plugin app menu plugin. Unexpectedly left the panel. Do you want to restart it? Execute. <laughs> At least give me a, a link to the application. God damn it. Jeez. Oh, that is that is a nuisance. App menu plugin external. Can I drag and yep yep. Mm. Can I drag and drop it? No. Enzo, what? Power app menu plugin. <coughs> that is annoying. Yeah, so that's that. <laughs> um, basically, that, that's just a quick look at Enzo OS. I can't bring back the menu. So, of course, if the developer is watching this, please. Make the rocket, maybe I don't know what do you call it, the, the rocket menu, the Enzo start menu. I don't know. Make that permanent to the dock, um, for this reason. At least with a uh, Kubuntu and of and of the the um, the forks of Kubuntu. Kubuntu was like based, based on what Hana Montana Linux was based off of. At least I could. There was a little link at the bottom right here. At, at the I say at the bottom. I face the top. There was a little kind of button at the top. You could click on it, bring it down, and you you could re-add it from a set of icons. You can't do it on this. It's kind of awkward. But we'll take a look at the desktop wall wallpapers, anyways. Just see how nice they are. And of course, they are nice. Dock. Make it small. Make it normal. Make it large. Fair enough. That could be used for if you were running this on some kind of. Um, I'm not sure if people still use them, but um, netbooks. Themes Enzo 3D. Oh, that is so smart. Can you make it center? <laughs> Can you make it center? It actually make it look a lot nicer if it was in the center. Docklets applications. Separator. Applications desktop Clippy. What the heck is Clippy? It's not that guy from XP, is it? Pressure pressure reveal. Default. G G T K plus, Matt Matt the Matt look, yeah. Um, make it small, make it normal, make it center. <laughs> the launcher. Uh, so what's the launcher? Is that the start menu that I've deleted by mistake? Hmm. I suppose it is. Yeah. Uh, hide. No. Um, matte, transparent, clear. What's the difference transparent and clear? To me, that's the same thing. Clear 3D, Enzo, and Enzo Dark. Yeah, at the same time, make it set. At the. Oh! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so you can personalise a dock. Nice. All right, so if you click on this, I, I'm actually quite happy I found this, by the way. So you've got the trash icon. Put that, drag and drop it. E, e. So there's actually a way to bring it back, but it's not initially um, noticeable. You have to try and locate it, and it's quite awkward when you're in the desert settings. So, fair enough. You can fix the issue I, I caused for myself within the menu itself. So, I've set these icons to small. I think I, I think that's what I did at least. Set them back to normal. Hello. We'll go a little bit bigger. We'll go for large. And now they're freaking beasts. Start and start on category view. Display at the top. A nah. Keep it at the bottom. A, I, I prefer it like that. It's kind of like it's kind of like Windows in that way. Um, start in category view. What does it mean? Start in, start and start on category view. So what's category? Um, are those not the categories? I am so confused. Keep it small because it looks a little more friend friendly that way. It doesn't look too uh, out there. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Fair enough. Right. So start in category view. Doesn't doesn't change much. I don't know what this option is for. It doesn't really change too much. So. Hmm. Report a problem. Sorry, Ubuntu 18.4 has experienced an internal error. I thought it was based on Ubuntu. Send problem to developers. Uh, I don't send it now, it doesn't worry. It, it doesn't worry, it doesn't matter. Um, so you've got the trash icon, you've got... Basically that's almost it. So you've got the clock as a thing as well. CPU monitor, does that make it, does that make it more of a widget? Add. Nope, doesn't seem to want to work. CPU monitor battery. There's no battery on this, so what? What's the point? No battery. It quite running. It's running off of a desktop computer, so it's fine. Trash. Clippy. What the heck is Clippy? Eh. Anyway, look at the wallpaper. Quite nice. Wind farm. This reminds me of the purple OS's back in the day. <laughs> All of these little, wall, little wallpapers. That, that's 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 nice. It reminds me of a system halt. It, um, <sighs> are, are you are you are you okay, system? Now you've got flaming stuff going on right here. Artifacts. Can I? No, I can't. Uh, but you got the galaxy right here, that's quite nice. You got the sand, the sandy sea. Flaming artifacts. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and raise the uh the CPU output next time on this virtual machine. Uh that is not very help damn it. You got the dock right here. Quite a nice little dock. Um, and then you've got grass, and then you've got yeah. So they're quite nice wallpaper. What the heck is that? It's a wee hamster. <laughs> a little pattern kind of thing. Quite nice. Water droplets on a leaf, and then you've got the same. That must be the logo for the system. That little rat. A hamster, even sorry. I <laughs> uh, don't want to call you a rat. That's not nice. Um, so yeah, that's quite quite nice wallpapers. And then you've got a bit of wood with a leaf on it, and then you can leave it blank for some reason. So backgrounds, pictures, nice. And of course, I've left it on a white screen, but that is that that will do it for just now. A few th things I want to reckon go back to, onto is make the dock centered, make the the application menu permanent. In some way that you have to kind of like right click and force permanent permanency. Was that the search bar there before? I'm not. Too, I'm not too sure. Um, keep that permanent. 
so you don't lose it like that, like like so, and then just completely lose it, everything, and uh, just just I just went mad. I'm just going to just clear all that. Yeah, make the dock a uh, center, and make some aspects of it permanent, aka the menu. So if you want to get rid of it for some for some weird reason, which you, I don't see why you need to. Uh, you have to right click on it and then click on it to like unlock kind of thing um, and make it center <laughs> and add also for the desktop as well for this whole desktop right here I have a second menu for all of the applications that are installed on it as well kind of thing just make it more helpful just in case you lose it next time but with that being says what what are your what are your opinions on this I, I think it's quite a nice operating system just there's only a few things I can I don't like about it, and there's a ton of other things I do. So the things I like about it actually outweigh the things I hate about it. So that's actually quite nice. But I'm not going to leave this too, episode too long, but I'm going to leave that there. Thanks for watching, and also if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and also give us a like. And comment below how you feel about this. Do you like it? Does it remind you of Mac OS? Does it anything? Just let me know what you think about this because it's quite fascinating to listen to your to read all your comments kind of thing. Um, with that being said, thanks for watching. I am Ricky and I will talk to you next time. Bye!